Hey, BitMining Universe, how's it going? Well, today I wanted to talk about air quality and something that I am doing that I and running ant miners and these computer systems inside of your house. Well, I don't think most people think about it, but these systems do produce VOCs. Any type you're he anytime you're heating up plastic, uh, microwaving it, or Pretty much heating up plastic it has a chance to release VOCs so there are stories on the web where people would run ant miners in their bedroom and you know they would get really really sick um, and they weren't sure why and then they blamed them on these things again I'm not trying to scare people away from it but this this is just things to be aware of if you think about a computer in your bedroom that runs 24 hours a day, it doesn't hurt anything. It's probably got, you know, four or five, even ten processors in there that are producing VOCs. Where one of these is going to, has about 160 chips. So you have to realize it's quite a few times more uh, VOCs being produced per amp miner. Um, compared to your regular computer. So this is just something to be aware of. So you want to, if, you know probably not sleep in the room where you have these things running try to put them in an off bedroom or somewhere else um, if you have them running in your house uh, somewhere that you're going to constantly be breathing and stuff you may want to consider only running a, a minimum amount you know one or two of them three of them I, I don't know I'm personally I don't know the exact amount uh, of uh, how many miners it would take uh, how much VOCs they're producing um, I mean, I can tell you my girlfriend is actually a chemist that works into air quality in North Carolina. Um, and, you know, she's helping me, guide me and educate me on this as I do some more research and I make some more videos. Um, so I do have a little bit of inside track and a little bit of helping. So bottom line is these equipment will produce harmful uh, fumes, VOCs. And these are things to be aware of in small doses. It's not going to hurt anything. But when you start to get a bit overboard, uh, you may want to consider some of these uh, tactics, which is filtering the air. So I'm using my ant miners to heat my house. So I'm pumping all the air uh, through this box through my house. So this is the return air blowing. And this is the air getting sucked. And there's a suction right here. They're actually getting sucked through the miners because of the way I have them uh, ducted. Uh, this ducting is supposed to be temporary. I've just been so busy. Um, I plan on putting a box over this, play with it, tweak it a little bit, see if it helps change temperatures, air flows. But for now, it works. It's fine. Uh, I just don't have time to mess with it right now. But I will eventually start playing with those. But back to air quality. So since all this air is going into my house, I want it to... Uh, mentioned that you know, everything is actually getting filtered and the person the engineers who helped me install this system have been built lots of server rooms and RTP which is Research Triangle Park here in uh, Raleigh slash Durham North Carolina so you know they're used to having to dealing with servers which is pretty much what these devices are they're gonna produce the same amount of VOCs as a server would give or take depending on the type of server and so forth so uh, and all they would do is use a MERV 11 uh, to a MERV 13 air filter, uh, which would probably be equivalent to a Filtrate 1500 uh, air filter. And what that does is it, re it air basically pulls out, um, uh, you know, toxic, you know, car fumes, outside fumes, outside toxic air. It will, it's, it's small enough to filter that. If you go back and watch my... Uh, filters for the inside of the house. I think I went with uh, 1100 um, filtrate filters for inside, uh, which were still filtered. Uh, I, th I believe, uh, can, you know, that type of uh, carbon monoxide, not carbon monoxide, but different type of toxins in the air. Where I'm going to take this, you guys outside now, um, outside of the box, and we're going to go. I got to close this box for static pressure. I'm going to pause the video for. Okay, we're back at the AC system. So, what I want to show you guys is the line that's being sucked in uh, from the box is right here, this, this duct right here. And this duct is coming over. Let me step back a little bit. You can see it back in the corner, coming over and down and into my return. So this is the, my return duct to my system. Now what is going on is there is a indoor filter system box right here so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up 
you guys can see, I have a big filter in here, which is a three inch household filter. Take that cover off and we can slide this bad boy out. And that's what it looks like. So it looks like it's starting to get a little bit dirty. Um, so I've been running it this whole time. Let's turn it around, look at the front. Nope, this actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy back in. And close it back up. I'm going to pause this for just a second. Here we go. Sorry, it wasn't uh, clicked on the bottom very well. All right, guys. So the filter that I have in there, here is a extra one. As you can tell, is a MERV 11 efficiency airflow. So all you're going to need is a good air filter, something that's going to be a filtrate, uh, 1500 or higher, or a... MERV 11 or higher will sufficiently filter the air based on all the information that has been provided to me. Uh, again, I'm no expert. I'm not making any guarantees on any of this, but this is what I'm doing in my own house and I feel that I'm doing, I'm safe and I'm not concerned about it because I am filtering the air also here using this filter. And I'm gonna pause this again and go upstairs. As I was telling you, I'm back upstairs into my downstairs return which is right here so i have the higher end air filter which is downstairs which is the media filter filtering the house so the air is being pulled from the ant miners going into my return going through that uh, media filter which then goes through the system and then into my house now as it gets pulled through the house and back into the miners uh, through this return and also the return upstairs I am using a filtrate uh, 1085, which is probably equivalent to a MERV 8, a MERV 9, somewhere in that range. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm guessing based on what I read earlier. So this one is actually, this is the minimum that you need to filter out uh, smoke particles and smog particles. So as I said before, based on all my research, uh, this VOCs and everything that this equipment is going to be producing is going to be classified under smog particles. So this filter should do the trick. But again, the whole house filter is actually equivalent to the 1500. Uh, so it's probably the best one that they have available. I'm, I'm not really sure, uh, but it's definitely the better version than this one, just to be on the safe side. So again, guys, this is definitely on air quality and you know everybody wants to have ant miners in their houses i do too but at the same time we have to be aware of the hidden dangers which is going to be the, uh, the air quality and the potential vocs that these chips are going to be producing you know running at um what is 100 and f or what is 55 celsius probably about 135 degrees give or take so running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I, I do believe this is a concern. So if you are going to run uh, a lot of Bitcoin miners in your house, I would, especially the newer ones with a uh, large amount of processors, I would definitely consider uh, filtering the air somehow uh, going into your house. Um, this is just my thoughts on it. I am not a specialist by any means. I just have resources, I ask questions, I try to learn, and I try to be safe all at the same time. So, all right, Bitcoin miners, be safe. Uh, good luck hitting those uh, blocks, and see you guys later on in the next video.